Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Today is day two of our 21 days in the Word journey together. And you can access our reading plan and the resources we have on our website, southlakechurch.com. And so I'm inviting you to join me in reading through the book of Acts over these three weeks. We've provided the reading plan, a memory verse for each day's reading, and then this daily devotional, which we will correlate to the memory verse uh, each, each reading. And so my prayer is that doing this together will benefit together from reading the book of Acts as a church family. I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will use this powerful book of the early church and their example, the example of the early church, to inspire and rekindle in us our own mission and purpose as part of that church that Jesus continues to build. So please read chapter 2 today. Acts 2, of course, is the story of the birth of the church in the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came in power. Peter preached. Several thousand people were saved that first day. Indeed, the church was dramatically born as the first believers were converted and transformed. They were changed. And then what we see from Acts chapter 2, verses 42 to 47, is incredibly significant. It tells us the key characteristics of the new community that they immediately formed following the birth of the new church. And then verse 42, our memory verse for today, is the key verse, as it mentions the four core values that the early church was built on. So let's read it, Acts 2, 42. It says, all the believers devoted themselves, what a great phrase, to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. And so here in the simple verse of the four key values, it says that they devoted themselves to from the very beginning. Number one, they devoted themselves to the apostle teaching, which represents the word. Apostles had been with Jesus for uh, over three years of his ministry. They walked with him, were taught by him, they heard his teachings, they often had private interpretations following, they observed his compassion, his miracles of healing, his feeding of people, his authority on display with demons fleeing at his command, at his word. The apostles had learned a lot, and now they had a lot to teach this new fledgling church, believers in Jesus who were hungry to grow in the word of God. That was first. Number two, they devoted themselves to fellowship. And this represents community. The word fellowship is koinonia, and it means a unique fellowship of the Holy Spirit. That's very important because it's where the Holy Spirit living inside each of us unites all of us in deeply, in a deep love and faith in Jesus. And they realized from the beginning that Jesus was building a church, a family, a community of faith, and that we're not alone. We'll never make it alone, living in isolation alone. But what we need is each other. We need to be committed to and devoted to that fellowship of the Spirit. Then number three, they were devoted to sharing meals together, including the Lord's Supper, it says. They shared their meals together. They loved being together and sharing the meals, the resources, just doing life together, again, centered on the Spirit. And then it also mentions the Lord's Supper, communion, that they shared that as well. And really, that was their understanding of remembering Jesus, focusing on the cross as the central act of their unity and their community, indeed their salvation. And then finally, number four, they were devoted, it says, to prayer. And of course, as we focused on prayer and fasting last month, we are reminded of how central and foundational to our faith that prayer really is. And so they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, sharing the meals together, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. Let's us pray right now. Lord, we pray that you would renew us in these four foundational truths. Lord, would you help us, as you did the early church, to be devoted. Lord, let there be a fresh devotion that would fill each one of us a commitment to your word to community to worship and communion lord and to prayer those four central things to our faith lord may we be devoted may we be inspired may we be unified in being the church that you're building today lord part of that great church and that we might build our lives on these great truths so thank you pray for today that you would fill us with your spirit. We pray that you would provide, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Will you say amen with me? Amen and amen. Well, have a great day praying for you. I look forward to talking to you in the morning.